Hey everybody, Chris here, you join Off Road North Carolina. Look who has made it back to where it was built. This is Steel Blue. This is a van we did about 10 years ago. We originally built it for a local guy, his kid raced BMX, and uh, we built it for them to go around to all the BMX races around the country. Uh, really, so I ordered this van. I went to Ford and actually ordered it, inspected it out, which is neat. I wish we could still do that, but we can't. Uh, so it um, it changed hands once. The second owner put good use to it. He put a lot of miles on it. It's got 174,000 miles on it, which is crazy. But it is still absolutely gorgeous. So it does need some upgrades. I'll get to that in a second. But here's the situation. Um, it got traded in. A local buddy of mine who's a wholesale dealer got his hands on it and basically wants to sell it. Um, there is something going on with the rear end. We haven't pulled it apart yet to check it out, but I think the rear end needs a rebuild. We are going to rip into that soon, um, and that will be fixed before it goes home. <clears throat> so the price as you see it um, for the van, I'll give you an interior tour here in a second, um, will be 35,000. I think it needs a lot of upgrades. So if you wanna take it for 35, come and get it and drive it. Um, the upgrades I think it needs, it needs new springs, needs new shocks, um, new steering, probably, you know, re go through the drive shafts. Um, it's been maintained very well, runs great, um, but some of the suspension stuff they haven't really kept up with. Uh, it needs a good, just a good cleaning and painting underneath. Um, I'd also like to redo the exhaust. We've changed the way we do exhaust since this thing was built, and it needs tires. The tires look good and shiny, but they're dry rotted and... Um, I don't know how old they are, but they definitely need to be replaced. Um, so there is an original video, build video on this thing that you can check out if you dig back on our channel. But this is basically top of the line, everything we could possibly do um, at that time. And still love this van. It's got the luminous bumpers. It's got a stage three front axle. It's got the winch. It's got the rigid light bar, the rigid lights in the luminous bumper. It's got the amp steps dual bill steins which need to be replaced uh, luminous bumper on the back <clears throat> uh, so the second owner did make some interior improvements basically added this galley the bed platform it still has a storage compartment up top that we had done along with the uh, max air fan so yeah real simple interior nicely set up ready to go interior is very clean it's got the factory up there switches. Super clean, dash is perfect. It's got a head unit in it. Really nice, seats are in great shape. It's got another storage compartment up front here. Really nice. I haven't got into details about all the cabinets and looks like they got a simple water tank set up in there. We didn't do any of this, so I'm not really sure what's been done, what has and looks like some curtains there. <clears throat> Probably some storage under here. Oh, it's got an Airbnb fridge in it. Heck yeah. Yeah. So, pretty neat. And a pretty good value for a super nice van. Go around back. It does have airbags. Uh, biggest thing, it definitely needs new springs. It's got the LED tail lights. Luminous box. It's got onboard air. It's got a rear skid. Yeah, definitely seen some salt and needs a little TLC. Dynatrack diff covers. <clears throat> it's got amp steps. I think I already mentioned that. It's got the OBA squeezed in there. NV271. So, yeah. I mean, ideally, somebody buys this and lets us spend a couple days on it, fixing it up, get some new springs under it. I think you've got a really, really badass van. And still, you know, I mean, call it 45 grand with the upgrades that I think it needs. Stretch that to 50 max. You got a $50,000 van. That's pretty badass. So uh, you can email me, chris at youjoinoffroad.com or send me a message on Facebook or Instagram if you're interested. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thanks for watching.